Hey guys, welcome to Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I talk about personal finance where I share tips on budgeting, investing as well as saving money. And if these topics are of interest to you then do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as like this video so that my content can be shown to more people and also that I can make more videos and share them with you guys. So in today's video I will be talking about investing for beginners so I shared part one of investing um, for beginners and I will link it up here or in the description box below so essentially in the first video I went through some of the definitions of what an option is what a share stock and mutual funds and in today's video I'll actually just be focusing on what I actually invest in and I want to reiterate right now that I'm not a financial advisor so if you have specific specific questions for your specific personal needs, I would recommend that you seek a professional um, financial advisor. Everything that I share on this channel is just based on my personal experience and something that I am doing with my money. So let's get right into it. So I do have my iPad here with me because I just want to go through the types of investments that I do have. I actually, firstly, I invest with Vanguard. So I buy, I think... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You don't have to have five. You can essentially just have one or two, but depending on your needs, you can figure out which of these mutual funds meet your needs best. Personally, I do have global uh, OCAP index fund accumulation. I do have the FTSE UK equity income index fund. I also have life strategy, 60% e um, equity fund. And also I do have an extra one, which I am just investing in for my mom when she retires in five, 10 years or whenever she does retire. So I do have a variety of funds with Vanguard. I chose to uh, invest with Vanguard. You can choose the multitude of companies depending on your region or your country and the types of options that you have available to you. I also invest with my bank. So my personal bank does offer um, investment accounts. So I do have an investment ISA with them and an investment ISA with Vanguard. So with my bank, I actually just go for single shares. I had the Vanguard funds with my um my personal bank but i just decided to move them all to vanguard i it was around the same time i decided to leave trading 212 and just move um the shares and stocks that i have there sell them and then buy funds with vanguard this was a personal choice you don't have to sell what you have with trading 212 i think trading 212 especially for a beginner is a really really good platform it's so easy to use and you can just play around with the types of um, investments that are there as well as i like that they do have that option on trading 212 to copy somebody else's pie chart you know the pie with various uh stocks and shares and then you can try and emulate their investing strategy and i like that especially for dividends that was pretty good but i just wanted to focus on investing in mutual funds and because i already had single stock with my bank i just didn't want to have stock all over the place and you can have that if you want to but i don't really let me use the word mess around with my stock i only touch my stocks once a year so around December time that's when I readjust my um, my stock shares and bond allocation that's the only time I literally physically literally like literally have to change something but other than that I have set up for for example with Vanguard I have set up direct debit so every single month I buy about you know I send a hundred pounds for each of the funds that I have with them. Um, so that comes up to, is it four, 500 pounds every single time, every single month. I send that through via direct debit. And then with my bank, it's also the same for the bonds that they, so in the UK bonds, I think they're called guilds, but I buy a guilds, um, those ones I do on uh, direct debit, but then um, everything else, like the single stock shares, I buy them as and when. So this is the only thing that I actually touch when it comes to um, my 
stock portfolio but other than that when it comes to the index funds i just literally leave them alone so like i said i invest with my bank so i know a lot of uk banks um do have that option to open an investment i said with them so you can do that i don't know about the states or other countries if that's an option i would definitely um have a look at that and then i also invest when it comes to mutual funds i invest with vanguard i am not opposed to people choosing like what stock and shares like single stocks and shares just invest in one company or just picking the companies that they want to invest in but i think that just takes a lot of work i chose to keep these single shares purely because i bought them from an industry that i'm very familiar with so i do know their potential whereas i do not know if their stocks will continuously continue to go up i don't know that but because of the type of industry that i've bought in i think and it's not tech <laughs> i know a lot of people buy into tech but it's not tech and for me i i think there is great potential and it just continues to grow and that's exactly why i chose for these few um companies to just buy single single stock with them but other than that i'm a proponent for mutual funds and i recommend them to anybody who wants to get into investing um so if you watched last week's video then um you understand i gave my full background story of how i got into investing so for me started with single shares one company and that really paid out but it's not a guarantee that it will pay out with um single stocks with mutual funds i feel like even though there is also risk it's kind of a better risk than if you've put all your eggs in one basket so to speak so this is all i wanted to actually speak about when it comes to investing for beginners like i said i'm just sharing the types of um investing it's, I don't even know if it's a strategy, but it, the types of stocks, funds, what have you, that I invest in. So with my bank, single shares, with Vanguard, I just do mutual funds. And I think they only do mutual funds, but I could be wrong. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you watched until this point, please do not forget to hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And also please share in the comments what you invest in, in if you've started investing and how you found it so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.